Hi, in today's video I would like to show you how to use the compare function of Microsoft Word to compare two documents and create a tracked changes version. This process can be very helpful when you are proofreading a document. It means you can proofread the document live and make changes directly and then compare to the original to show the author how the document has been changed. So let me show you how this works. We have the original document here, test proofreading. I am going to save it to a new file name, test proofreading new. Now I am going to make some live changes. I'm going to add an article here. I'm going to fix this grammatical mistake here. I'm going to change this to British English. I'm going to add a comment here for the author. And I am going to change all incidences of Occidental to Italic font style and Cambridge to bold. Now then, on the next page, I have some text boxes and I'm going to make some changes to the text in these text boxes. When I have finished making the changes, I will save. Now then, I have the original document, test proofreading, and the revised document, test proofreading new. Let's make a track changes version. Let's go to review, compare, and compare two versions of the same document. I will load the original document here on the left, test proofreading and I will load the revised document with the changes here on the right, test proofreading new. I can choose not to show formatting changes in the track changes. I can choose not to check the text boxes, but in this instance, I want to check everything. The insertions and deletions, which are always selected and all these other elements. The changes will be shown in a new document and at the word level. So if I change one character in a word, the whole word will be struck out and we will see a new word. So let's go ahead and generate a track changes version. And here we have it. This is an unsaved document, document one. We can see the insertions. We can see the grammatical corrections here. The comment has been copied over and also the formatting changes here with information about what has happened. And we can see here in the text boxes that the changes have been recorded. So I am going to save this document with another file name and I'm going to call this Tracked Changes and save it. So now we have three documents. We have the original document sent by the author. We have the revised document, which has been proofread. And we have the track changes document with all the changes recorded. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this makes proofreading much faster because you can essentially work on a live document as if it was your own document. And then you can use the compare function to compare and show all the changes to the original author. I hope that has been of some use to you and I look forward to seeing you again in other videos.